A dead Baron server. Oh, it's, it's Henry. Tim Edge joins the server. Alistair Cat Whisper joins the server. Who is this godlike figure? Warden has joined the server. Razmataz joins the server. Hello. Remember that. You'll need that later. Photo joins the server. Anna's joins the server. Hello. Skittins joins the server. Isman48 joins Hello. the server. Cyber Dragon joins the server. Jabaros has joined the server. Hello. For special effects. Content creators. Content creators role. All these new people. And why have they joined the server? It's been another crazy start to the year and term here at Warwick Rocket League. At Warwick Rocket League? On Warwick Rocket League? In Warwick Rocket League? I don't care. I was going to make this video at the end of the year, but there's been so much happening so far that I have so much to talk about now that we're just going to jump right into this. So without further ado, welcome to the Warwick Rocket League Term 1 in review. So, as is tradition, Treefort joined the server. Hello! I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm not just going to rehash my video from last year, so no more. Hello! Sorry. So, Treefort joined the server. Hello! No, fuck off! I told you no more hellos! So, Treefork joined alongside Sigmoid, who sounds just like Scenarius from an SE, and they're both actually in year 13 at school, so we hope to see you guys at Warwick soon. Mendez, Fahora, Gopher, Will, and Joseph all joined the server. Oi. Marion finally did an intro after a year on the server. Mariam finally did an intro after a year on the server. Raz and Henry met Curious, Luke, Matt, Adam, and Alex at the Society's Fair with some questionable posing. Esports had a cute meal at Varsity to welcome everyone into this year, but it was mainly Rock League, as usual. People actually talked in person, and it was in fact very cool. Now moving into October, a new term means a new season of NSE. For those of you who don't know what NSE is, I refer you to my previous review video where I explain the league format slightly, so go check that out. Anyway, on to the teams. So obviously, We'll start with the first team, which is captained by Warden, and alongside him was Ken and Tim. Wait, what about me? Oh shit, yeah, sorry Luke. So due to the fact that the trials were so, so close, by the way, we Twitch streamed that, you can check that out on the Warwick Esports Twitch channel, the first team couldn't decide on a third player, so they picked Tim for the first half of the term, and Luke for the second half. There, happy? Yeah. And the first team was called Warwick Came Third on the Boys. Come on the boys, third place finish in the National League. So that means that the second team, captained by Henry, had Paul B and Luke slash Tim, and was called Warwick B-Tech. The third team, the Warwick Seaman, was captained by Raz, and had Delt and Raz's longtime teammate, Danners. The fourth team, the Warwick Wide Weaves, was captained by the ball-chasing rage quitter himself, Marion Istop. No, sorry, not that one. This one. He was joined by Ignis and Mendez. The fifth team and best team was called the Warwick Emails and was captained by the brilliant Photo, who was joined by Kappa Ross and Spicy Jalapeno, and they did some big things in this season of NSE. Gonna talk about that later. Do you know what? I gotta speed this up. So, sixth team, Clappers, Stefan, Adam, and Matt. Seventh team, Grand Platz, Issa, Curious, and Warwick Shadman Rafid. Eighth team, made up of subs, but they didn't actually play. Going back to that fifth team, they had an amazing last week of NSA League play and won every series they played that night and even beat the fourth team in regionals, the Sussex Silvertips. They won game five with this amazing redirect. Wow, that was so clean. Look at that angle. That guy is so good. Who is he? Well, that, my friend, is Photo. Yeah, he likes being in the air, kind of like Paul B. And he scores lots of varied goals, like this, and this, and this, and that, and that other one, or this one. Alright, you get the idea. He likes double touches. 
Overall, Rocket League picked up 239 NSE points just on Rocket League, which means over a quarter of the entire university's points were on virtual car football. Moving away from Rocket League, we pick things back up on Saturday the 12th of October, which is the Saturday of week two, which only means one thing. It was time for school days. Many people got drunk, and then everyone got lost in the actual club, but people had fun and got home safe, so it was Great success! Now, the thing about Warwick and Warwick students is that it's essentially split into two parts. The people who live in shitty little Canley, next to campus, and the people who live in the amazingly fun Leamington Spa. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. They're both shit compared to London. <laughs> this is great banter! The people living in Lem met up for a cute little Nando's meal, yep, every meal with eSports is cute, where they got to see Raz's extra hot thighs. Now into November, the Clappers united and finally met in person. Raz and Max made a lasagna together and talked about it for nine fucking minutes. For fuck's sake, Raz. In all seriousness though, if you haven't seen it, check it out in the link below. Esports then organized a cute esports meal at Nando's again, where people just enjoyed some chicken, talked about games, oh, and enjoyed Raz's extra hot thighs. Henry then ran esports bingo. Hey, Ness. <laughs> Why? How do you feel about being in chat one? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. And we found Twilight Sparkle's twin brother, Marion Istok. No, not that one. That one. Yeah, that one. Who was then carried by Henry and Matt. Then the Season 8 RLCS World Championship rolled around. Congrats to NRG. And there was another viewing, but only Danners and Ignis were there, because it was during the holidays. But the main attraction was Matt's Pick'em Spot. Players in the Warwick Rocket League Discord server could then try to predict the outcome of all the RLCS matches and would get points based on how close their guesses were to the end series result. And Henry won! What do you mean? Wait, sorry. Tim won. Yay. Oh yeah, and Tim got a contributor role, which was essentially created for him. Because after making Jester the nickname bot, helping people at lands, he decided to nitro boost the server and put his own money into Warwick Rocket League, so big pop to Tim. Henry also got contributor for literally everything he's done for the server. And finally, over the Christmas break, Matt made a new ladder bot called Boomer, and he also got contributor. But Matt, not, not the bot. So it'll be fun to figure out who will be next on that list.